Do you like platforming, collectibles, parkouring, and match three games? Well, you're in luck because I've had an advanced look at a brand new game that ticks all those boxes and it's currently my game of the year. Sit back, relax, and let's talk about Sephony. Sephony is a brand new 3D platformer by the team behind Anodyne 1 and 2 that has you exploring a massive cave network, linking with unidentified species, and unraveling scientific and spiritual mysteries. Upon first starting the game, you are introduced to an ominously intriguing figure known as Observer, and from there we meet our three main protagonists, Ryu, Ingwen, and Amy. Three researchers from different parts of the world who, upon their voyage, set out to analyze the rare species of the island of Sephony in the year 2049. The crew gets pulled into the island and crashes due to a mysterious electromagnetic presence and from there, this is where that sweet gameplay begins. Each of Sephony's main characters are equipped with the same stats, speed, and ability and can be switched at any point in time. Platforming and exploration are the main facets of Sephony and the developers have absolutely nailed the feel for what a parkour-focused platformer should feel like. You can jump, dash, wall run, and so much more. New abilities are added throughout the game and without spoiling too much here, I was continually impressed by each new addition to my overall moveset as I played. Played. Throughout your journey, you'll find collectibles scattered throughout Sephony that contain memories and items of recollection. There's no fighting in Sephony, and the game has one of the most innovative approaches to encounters in boss fights, the linking system. This plays out like a mix between a match 3 game and Tetris. Different tile sets are contained with each species you link with, and the goal is simple. Match colors during your turns until you fill the link meter, and from there you'll link and discover a bit more about what you linked with. I love the relaxing yet engaging link system so much that even after I filled the link meter, I often continued until I had used all my block pieces. Sephony is a large interconnected cave system where most of the parkour and exploration exists. This cave system is broken up into fairly large but contain areas filled with opportunities to put your moves to the test. I thoroughly enjoyed getting lost in the caves and linking with everything I could and finding every collectible I could possibly find. Boss battles were epic and followed up with more of the story which is presented through beautiful vignettes that contain past memories from each character that you'll probably relate to more and more as time goes on. That's all I want to say story-wise because you need to experience it for yourself, especially the ending because you will not want to miss it. Stephanie is an incredible masterclass in proving that the 3D platformer genre still has plenty of tricks up its sleeve. Leave. The peaceful approach to encounters via the link system was a stroke of genius and with every wall run, dash, and more, the culmination of the platforming mechanics were exhilarating to pull off and satisfying to experience. The soundtrack was incredible from melancholic piano bits to atmospheric soundscapes with haunting beauty. The story is expansive and will likely have you looking inward and relating it to the current times we're in. All in all, it's my current game of the year and it could turn out to be yours as well. Stephanie releases tomorrow on April 12th on Steam, GOG, and itch.io. Are you planning on picking this up? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like and if you're always in search your next favorite games and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Speaking of more videos like this one, you can click on either of these links on screen now and I'll see you in the next one.